we're moving hotels because of racism. What is it about Europe? We've, we've had another experience in Paris once that was also racist. European toilets are weird. Oh, British people have weird chips. way to be welcomed back to England than to meet our new British friend who said I know it's very British of me but I just can't wait for a good cup of tea and that when she was in Venice you know she had to you know she doesn't drink coffee but she had to just go try to drink coffee and then she learned the hard way that a latte is not the same thing in Italy as it is elsewhere it's, it's just hot milk it's just hot milk and she had to just look real pleased with her hot milk. Can I also order a shot of espresso? She's like, so you did want a cappuccino. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, it was lovely. We met a nice British lady. She's my friend now. We'll never see each other again, but she's my friend. Uh, next is on to the Limehouse Library Hotel after our Uber picks us up. What is that? This is interesting. This is a, man, this is a short door. Is the right room door short? I don't think so. What, what part of the library is this? wrote some things. Can I read any of it? Oh yeah, no. I can't read any of that. He's a Turkish writer. It could be really inappropriate for all I know. I mean, it looks like maybe he abuses children. Not sure. Oh, laugh or lament. Aziz. Oh, so it's in English now? I might, I might read some of this later. I'll let you know if, if this is any good. Mine does look delicious. Mine is, my mouth is not watering. This is not lit well enough for you to appreciate how wonderful our food is about to be. Our fried chicken, not pictured, delicious. Gluten free and delicious. Seriously, such a good place. And I was really looking forward to some good food, so it was great. Highly recommended. Niche in London. I don't know where in London. I know I'm supposed to know these things. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. So I didn't even want to make a video about today because I have not been well. Um, accidentally on the way out of the Uber last night, Chris and I came into head banging contact and um, I've had a horrible headache since then. It's just now dissipating. Um, and I was just like, ugh, whatever. But I'm going on a little walk and London, and there's this church and it's beautiful and I wanna show you. So let me show you a little bit of my truncated day.
like on my way to my destination, there just happens to be graves because that happens. And I guess it's part of the churchyard, which is part of the church. But I mean, Google Maps just told me to go through this. I find that funny. here you know it's possible these are flats not apartments because we're in England I'd like to mention that this is another five dollars that we didn't have to spend. We're walking, making our way over to this uh, Tower Bridge, just past the London Crown Court. It's got Scary. baby over here, hoping not to end up in court. No, don't take us to court. Don't take us to court. But if you do take us to court, it's probably because I filmed inside. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Baby likes to break them laws. Listen, there are so many laws. Yeah, they are. And our fucking ho pos. Everywhere we go. Everywhere we go, go, mo fucking ho po. That building over there is super dope. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Got, uh, it's got a great paint job. So last night, I don't know, like this isn't my story to tell, so I'm not going to tell a lot of this story, but uh, we're moving hotels because of racism. Chris got accosted out the door and they didn't want to act like he stayed here and even when he showed him the key card they wanted his name and even when he had his name they wanted the number and it was just really frustrating and then there was a whole issue with payment and he wasn't even able to go to a work event and it just ended up being all bad so F this place and if Chris gets around to wanting to talk to you about it I will allow that but other than that, um, we're leaving and uh, we're moving on with it. But also Europe. What is it about Europe? We've, we've had another experience in Paris once that was also racist. And it's not that racism doesn't exist in the U.S. It's just that... We understand the brand. It's just disappointing. England is well known for its narrow boats. And we've got a, got a bunch of them over here. People live on these. This is basically their version of, uh, I would say sailing life, but you know, clearly not. It's, it's in the channels. 
But this is a pretty long one. Like, I wonder if somebody's literally living on this. Crazy. Something cool in the background, I don't know. It looks like the Tower of London, I'm gonna guess. Because that's close to us. And I'm walking around trying to find a pub. Not everything is gonna be beautiful. That's icky. But that's beautiful. Just the shore. And all those modern buildings, which don't feel like London. All these quaint buildings. That do feel like London. European toilets are weird. Good, weird, in that the door goes all the way to the ground. How did a baron could not learn to do this? But weird, weird, in that there's like a thing to pull to flush the toilet. Like that's old, right? And also like the tiny ass sink. It's quite narrow. Wow, that's a lot of sound. It just, it's weird. <coughs> Just talk this. Much folks. Got so much. Every fucking way. Exactly. Yeah. But then literally, you know, like you spend one night just right. Okay. This is, you know, like not my night time. Yes. And put it all down. Yes. If you're in a safe station, oh yeah, you will need it. Should have got a phone back to him. Fifteen mil. Fifteen mil reach out. Yeah. Fifteen mil. Ah. Yeah. 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 So I'm just out of The Grapes, which is a little pub that I went to while Chris is at work. While well, I'm staying out of the hotel, the racist hotel. And it was a lovely little pub. Um, I'm always like secretly filming because you're not allowed to in Europe and don't worry, we don't have a very large channel, no one's gonna notice. Um, but I just got to see a dog and it made me so happy, I miss my dog. Anyway. I just had to say that. But other than that, I'm finding my way back. Finding my way back to my husband. And, uh, you know, I walked out and I was just like, and I'm in London. It's just so not California. It's, it's lovely. These are their RVs. <laughs> These are us. Hashtag leave today. Luckily, I was able to find myself. Bangers and mash. Fish and chips. When you're not sure which snowfields lane to take, but this one has a bar at the end of it. That's the one. That's the one to take. There's my bar. I know we're not supposed to judge other countries' food as weird because you know, more more culture than that. But British people have weird chips. Exhibit A. Prawn cocktail. Prawn? Who eats freaking prawns in their chips? But okay, we'll, we'll try it, right? So I just did. And you know what it tastes like? It just tastes like ketchup. Why don't just say ketchup chips? Yeah. What do you think it tastes like, babe? Uh, so weird. Um, I think it tastes like uh, fun cocktail. No, you are a liar. <laughs> There's nothing prone to tasting at all about that. So a lot of cats uh, out exploring. What did white people steal now? White people stole this foot? I spent all my day here at a trade show. 